Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam yasa ala. Koholimla. Yahweh bahasim yawashai bahasim. Rekahakodash. Double honors to our apostles, elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akiyam and Akwap that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh bahasim yawashai to the best of their ability. And, um,. Got a couple of articles on, um, but basically, you know, it's it's summertime, so of course a lot more people are hitting the beaches and stuff like that. And of course, you know, um shark attacks go up these particular hotter months, you know what I'm saying? So got a couple of incidents where, you know, <laughs> and it's 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 women, man. I've been seeing a lot of women been getting judged lately. But this one says teen survives Florida shark attack but loses hand and leg. I made it. <laughs> we boy it says the mother of a florida teen who lost her leg and hand in a shark attack recently said the girl's first words after waking up from her br brutal ordeal were i made it and you know a hey, hey, the, uh, the lord is the king of terrors man it's that one um hebrews 10 and 31 and people don't have no real healthy fear of you i will till things get to popping off and even then, they're calling on white Jesus, which is an idol. You got to call on Yahweh about Shemiah was shy, man. This is um, Hebrews 10 and 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Because that's exactly what happened. And we're going to get that in um, the spirits of vengeance, man, um, scripture. Okay, but Lulu Gribben from um, Mountain Brook, Alabama was one of three people who were who were injured in a spate of shark attacks Friday at Rosemary Beach in Florida's Walton County in the western part of the state. Lulu's mother, Ann Blair Gribben, provided details about the attack, the aftermath, and the teen's medical condition in a post on the website Caring Bridge. Gribben said she and Lulu were on their first mother-daughter trip along with the teen's twin sister, Ellie as well as friends. Lulu was with friends on a sandbar in wayside water looking for sand dollars when a shark bit her hand and leg on Friday afternoon. A man and a boy who noticed Lulu was hurt pulled her out of the water carrying her to the shore. Gribbon said she was um, at another part of the beach, heard there was a shark and saw a group of people standing over someone on the shore. She discovered it was her daughter after running down. I saw her wounds on her leg and started to scream. She was lifeless, her eyes closed, mouth white and pale. The wound on her leg and the, the wound on her leg or all that was left of her leg was something out of a movie. Gribbon said first responders airlifted Lulu to a hospital in Pensacola, Florida, and she was immediately brought into surgery. Doctors connected the teen to a ventilator, which helped her breathe as she recovered in the hospital. The attack not only cost Lulu two thirds of the blood in her body and her left hand, Gribben uh, wrote, doctors also amputated a significant part of Lulu's right leg. Gribben said doctors expected her to be on the ventilator for about a week, but Lulu began breathing on her own Saturday. Okay, this was the first big step. Once she was settled, her first words was, I made it. And a boy she did, and boy she did. The teen is, is scheduled to undergo multiple surgeries in coming weeks. Of course, you're all right. From the attack, her mother described as life changing. You damn right, that's life changing. It says, meanwhile, the local news outlet interviewed a pair of doctors and longtime friend, friends who were vacationing together with their families at the time of the attack and ultimately helped rescue her. Muhammad Ali and Ryan Forbes recounting boogie boarding with their children in the water. Hearing people panicking on the shore and heading towards the, the commotion, Forbes said he grasped the magnitude of the situation when he saw cloudy red water from the shark attack after getting back to the shore. The two physicians said their medical training kicked in immediately and they joined some emergency medical technicians and trauma nurses who were also on vacation and had gone over to help. 
When I looked down at her, I saw the severity of the injury and I realized that anybody with any kind of medical knowledge needed to help. Ali, Forbes, and the rest of the group tied tourniquets as well as applied pressure to, on Gibby's leg and hands. In the measure, but urgent, uh, but urgent effort to save the, the girl from dying, we might have, we might have, we might have as well worked with them for years, Forbes said. It was amazing. Kind of, it was God's will that everyone was there to help at the same time. <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, that's a day. Hey, that's scriptural, though. Hey, let's get um Proverbs twenty and twenty four. She, hey, all that went down, um, uh, according to plan. Like, how about Shemiah Shai wanted it to go down? It's Proverbs twenty and twenty four. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? So each one of those people that was there. Shark was on time. <laughs> so mama and, 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 and the daughters and their friends was on time. Everybody was on time for the event that the Lord put together. Because the Lord done that, man. All right. So let's see. And it's another. I'm going to get a grab another article, too. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, the mom, she wrote that she was incredibly grateful. All that good stuff. God damn. It says it was 69 shark bites. Across the world in 2023, 10 of those in 2023 attacks were deadly, which was higher than the recent annual average of six, but was still lower. So, hey, this is happening um, pretty rapid, man. It's, it's been a lot of maulings, a lot of um, things been going on with animals, man. Just let loose, man. The Lord been letting them loose. And you got this one right here. It says woman has arm amputated after being bitten by shark in Florida. So this was another, and matter of fact, this was two people in one day. Yep, it says, um, during an evening news brief, he said it was extremely unusual for two shark bite incidents to happen in the same afternoon. <laughs> so, hey, it was one that happened at 1.20 p.m., and then it was another one. Yeah, man, hey, look, man, the Lord is not playing no games. Yep, there was another one just a couple hours later. And it says the two people were injured in that incident, both teenage girls between the ages of 15 and 17. The girls were swimming with friends just inside the first sandbar when the attack occurred. Crawford noted the first victims were also attacked near the sandbar. One of the girls was seriously injured with wounds to her upper and one lower extremity. She was rushed to the trauma center in critical condition. The second girl suffered less severe wounds to her right foot. Okay, but well, yeah, man. Hey, there you go. The women, man, they out there with them little bikinis on. Them sharks like, okay, all right. You know, fresh meat. Anyway, let me just grab this um this one in the apocrypha real quick. Ecclesiasticus 39 and verse 28, it says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them fire and hail and famine and death all these were created for vengeance teeth of wild beasts and scorpions serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction yeah man them teeth of wild beasts man you see the damn teeth on a shark man is is in, is incredible man damn tooth the size of your, of your hand they don't take number that one chump Verse 31, it says, they shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. So, hey, hey look, those spirits one like, oh, well, Lord, those are pretty young ladies. They're just about to start their life, you know, about to get married, you know, <laughs> whatever, start a family. No, nah, them, them, them spirits, they, they got that, that command and they rejoice and, 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 and you know, basically uh, uh, jumping on that shark, man, to do what he done. Yep, so, hey, it's, you know, Lord is not no joke, man, and, and, and it's about to get crazy around here. You're about to see a lot more of the Lord's um, power, might, his terribleness, you know what I'm saying? Because this place is out of control, it's through, man, <laughs> and the Lord is about to unleash real terror upon this place, man. And I can imagine, you. I mean, you got to really imagine somebody being in that situation like that and how scary that shit gotta be man that's gotta be terrifying oh well you know one minute you just you know floating along you, you know you having you laughing you giggling 
you kicking and shit, you know, you just kind of doggy paddling and whatever, whatever, and then uh, you go under. Something grabs you, takes you under. That's crazy, bro. Like, hey, man, yeah, so it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. I just wanted to touch on that, man, real quick. I mean, hey, I think, um, you know, uh, lessons like these, they, you know, you know, they need to be done to to show the type of just to just, you know, to show what the Lord is like, man, like the Lord is not this cloudy, puffy guy in the sky, you know, like how um, Esau trying to paint it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like the Lord is 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 a terror among men, man. He kills and he makes a lie. Matter of fact, let me get that rule. He, he wounds and he heals. So the Lord wounded her, wounded, wounded those women, young women or whatever. And he's going to, you know, if it, he's going to be the one to actually um, heal them. Let's get that third um, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It says, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Yep. So, you know, that, that was judgment. Judgment on the daughter. Judgment on a mom. Judgment. Because that's life, life changing right there. She, she, you know, that, that's a hard comeback, especially in these days and times with um the type of vanity that, that goes on. Or, you know, people just always in a damn uh, trying to take a fucking selfie. Yep, I'm sure they probably had their little, little, little cute bathing suits on. <laughs> and and then uh, the disaster strike, man. That's that's do man. The Lord, man, you know, hey, man, I'm praying for mercy from you. How about you? Man, side, man. Like, for real, for real. Always pray for mercy from the Lord, man. And for real. Whew. My, 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 my. You're just thinking on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, just thinking on it. It's just something. Just just take your whole leg off, man. Just say one chop. You know how hard bone is, man? That's the power, man, uh, 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 of just that one animal that the Lord created. The, 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 the jaw pressure, man. Anyway, with that. I'm going to end out, and there's probably some more here, too. You just, you know, a lot of the times when they, you know, um, let me let me scroll to the bottom here. See this right here? I didn't even see this one. Mother mauled to death by a pack of dogs and children injured in rural Georgia. So she was mauled. She was 35. Now, why is this all women? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, no, but it's a guy up the street from me, um... Uh, uh, not too long ago, maybe two months or so back, you know, he was on a, um, you know, he was in intensive care, or whatever. Uh, some three pit bulls got him pretty good, man, and you know they tore off his arm pretty much. You know they had to amputate his arm, but you know he just he was in such bad shape that they had to take him off the ventilator, man. You know what I'm saying? He had five kids. He just had jumped off the bus coming from work, and, and, and the Lord had them dogs waiting on him, man. Uh, let's see. They got anything else in here on Maulings? God damn. I don't know about this one. This one says, woman missing in forest found dead inside belly of 20-foot python. God dang, boy. Yeah, man. Lord, ain't no joke. She was 45. Mother of four. Missing on Thursday night while she was walking through woodlands to sell food. Golly. Man, Lord ain't no joke, bro. What else they got in here? What's the lock here? Uh, three people injured. Here's another one. Three people injured in two shark attacks in neighboring beaches just 90 minutes apart. That could be that same one. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much about it. Uh, giant 15-foot great shark eats dolphin before being ripped apart by enormous predator. Okay, all right, that's something different. Yeah, you get them get into them comments, man. Hey, man, hey, the Lord's not playing no games out here, man. So I'm going to end out there. I pray that the lesson was edifying with that, Kwame Solo.